If you have booked the filming kit, then you're in for a treat. Let me first show you the green screen that comes with the filming kit. Uh, you can see it's pretty portable. Handle across the top means you can carry it easily from one location to another. Before you set up the green screen, um, make sure that you get the feet from the bottom, spin them out like this so that when you put it on the ground, it doesn't fall over. There is a latch here on the front. Uh, make sure you flick these latches open. Once the latches are flicked open, open it up. Now you can simply grab the handle and pull the green screen straight up. It'll stand by itself and it'll stay upright by itself as well. When you're ready to put the green screen away, simply grab the handle and push it back down. Of course, not every filming project needs the magic of green screening, but if you want to be magically transported to another location, then this is how you do it. Now, I don't have the green screen covering the entire area, only the area where the action is, in this case, me. And I've used my editing software to crop out the rest of the footage that betrayed the fact that I'm still in my studio. The filming kit includes quite a number of accessories, including, of course, the green screen. But there's lots of things here to help you get the best result possible. Let's start off with this. This case is where the iPad sits in. It sits in the inside just there. And it's designed to make holding the iPad during filming a lot easier and reduce some of the wobble that we sometimes see in filming. One thing to note, this does make it a little bit difficult to turn the iPad off. You'll either need very little fingers because the power button, of course, is just under here for the iPad. You'll either need little fingers or I just use my key to kind of flick the power on and off on the iPad. At the bottom here is a screw bolt to bolt onto the iPad, uh, to, uh, sorry, onto the tripod. When the iographer case comes to your school, it might be empty. The iPad might be sitting separately. So the iPad that goes in the case is clearly the one without the rubber casing. So to get it in there, simply insert it up it underneath these little holders here. So you slide it up underneath, then you'll pull that lever down with your thumb to lock it into place. Just make sure that you've got the lens peeping through the iographer case hole. When you want to add the light to your filming setup, then make sure it's charged using the USB cable provided and you might want to put the diffuser on it. To turn the light on when it's charged, hold the power button in at the side for a few seconds and it will come on to level one brightness. Tap the power button again, it will increase in brightness. Tap it one more time for the third level of brightness. You can see that if you point that in a student's face, it's gonna get quite uncomfortable. So my recommendation is to add a diffuser. So let's turn it off by holding the power button down till it powers off. So the diffuser simply is made up of a plastic, gray plastic ring that should be in the kit and your choice of either the frosty plastic disc or there is a light orange or there is a dark orange. Uh, so pop those discs into that gray plastic ring. So just uh, use those protruding edges there and slide it inside the ring so that it is held in place. Um, once you've got that on top, then you can simply uh, click that, just press it onto the light. So that, uh, that's now got the orange diffuser in it. It'll cast a nice warm glow over the skin of the star. So if I kind of add it to my face, you can see as I move it around, it fills in some shadows and uh, casts a nice glow over my face. So that is the light and the diffuser that you can add. When you're finished working with the STEM Share filming kit and you're ready to pack it up to go to the next school, just take the diffuser off the light and make sure it goes back into its holder.
Let's have a look now at the microphone that you've got. The microphone is going to give you much better quality sound. You would use this particular microphone if you wanted to capture the sound around your set. So if there are, is ambient noise that you wanted to include, then that's the microphone you're going to use. The fluffy sock stops the wind from um, getting recorded. When you've listened to other videos, you might have heard the wind kind of blowing across the microphone. That's what the fluffy sock prevents. So using this cable, plug it into one end and then you'll plug this into the sound end. So that's what your recording setup will actually, how that will actually function. If you're going to be capturing um, people talking, perhaps you've got two people on the screen that are having a conversation, uh, maybe it's an interview style video, then the lapel microphone, which is just like the one that I'm wearing, is the best option. It's going to eliminate the ambient noise. So if there is people in the background talking or traffic or other ambient noise, the lapel microphone generally will eliminate that. To make that setup work with your iPad and the filming kit, you'll use this adapter. So this adapter has got two holes that you can plug into it. So this part is obviously going to connect into that part of the iPad. Then you'll plug the microphones into that section just there. The lapel microphone um, has already got about a meter's length worth of wire here. And then of course there is the extension cord that you can use. So I'd plug my extension cord into the lapel. Now I've got about seven meters of cord. So the star can be quite a way away from the actual iPad recording. If the clip isn't yet attached, then you do need to attach the microphone so it sits inside the clip. So you lift up this top part, make a space for the cable to pass through, and now my microphone is going to sit snugly. It's going to sit snugly against my shirt. You can see that even though I've got my green screen set up, the tripod, the iPad inside the holder, the microphone is plugged in, and the light is turned on. All of that is now set up but I've still got quite a few spare accessories. You're not going to use everything on every project. So please, we would ask that you would keep all of the accessories stored together so that at the end of your time with the STEM Share filming kit, everything is packed up and the next school has a really great experience as well. We can't wait to see what you do with the filming kit. Please join the Department of Education Yammer group. Inside Yammer, you can ask questions and share the success that your students have had.